I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Avalar. I said, Matthews, cheers you, mate. Thank you very much for, uh, for giving me some of your time. This whole tournament thing's pretty exciting when it comes to uh, the influence of boxing scene, isn't it? Yeah. To be fair, it don't really excite me. Like, some decent fighters on there, but really, yeah, all their content is washed. Think, what's the most exciting fight? Gibb and McBroom. The last fight they done, no one was even fucking there. Clearly, people don't even care that much. The fight we want to see is me versus Deji. I literally called him out about half hour ago. If we had a face off on that, so we'll see if he takes it or not. But that's what's going to really sell the tickets, let's be real. Well, I was here to talk about the tournament, but you're here obviously to campaign for, for that fight against Deji. What is it, it that makes you want that fight? It was never a campaign. I just had an interview and I see Deji in the corner of my eye. And I thought, actually, bruv, that, that, that's going to sell, isn't it? Fucking get that on the main event of this tournament, fuck it. So for you, is that a fight that you want simply because you know it's a big fight and you know it's a fight that people are going to tune into? Is that is that kind of your main your main point? Here? Well, yeah, let's be real. It, that's going to be a big fight. Now, let's, if any of these other fights had a main card, single fighters, yeah, this fight is going to sell 10 times more than all of them. I'll just be dead honest, isn't it? And that's how, I'll say how it is. What are you walking around at in terms of weight? Because obviously they were talking about 163 to 170. If you got the call to be the mystery man in that tournament, is that something you would still entertain? To be fair, I don't give a fuck about the tournament. I just want Deji. Why ain't he in the tournament? If he was in the tournament, I still wouldn't want it because I just want him, bro. Do you know what I mean? We'll see if he takes it or not. But like, do you know what I'm saying? And let's say we're in a scenario where Deji does not take a fight with you. Where do you go from here in this influence of boxing scene? there's obviously so many options, but it just seems like you're just focused on that for now. All these guys, all they're focusing on is boxing. Do you know what I mean? It's like they focus so much on boxing, they don't even fucking create content no more. I'd slap them all up anyway, but what I'm saying is I'm actually doing shit behind the scenes. It's not just boxing's my main focus. If I've got a fight there and it's a big fight, I'll take it. I ain't going to fuck around in some tournament. Obviously, we had a massive one that I want to get your thoughts on. Um, it's been interesting to hear kind of what people have been saying in the scene. Saudi Arabia, a couple of weeks ago now, just kind of your takeaway from Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Um, yeah, Tommy Fury outclassed him, I can't lie. But Jake fares, isn't it? I think it's a dub for him because Tommy's been fighting his whole life. Jake's been fighting three years. And if Jake, if Jake had another two years fighting, yeah, I think Jake would have won that easy. So it just shows the levels of this game. If he's been boxing since a young kid and Jake's been fighting for a few years, it just who actually won, isn't it? I mean, let's just say, if we work things out, I know things never work out how we want them to. You get Deji, you beat Deji, maybe it'll be you fighting Jake Paul. Well, I'll fucking take KSI instead, mate. He would want to avenge his brother, wouldn't he? <laughs> I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.